Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 526, 2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 110. And I'm back! <laughs> As you see on the screen here, I uh, got part 7. So, yeah, it became an issue. Um, if, you, if you've been following me up to this point and your code resembles anything of the setup that I had, when you go to uh, follow the simple instructions from the uh, gist GitHub uh, Kobeism, uh, it won't work. <laughs> I mean, you'll get the uh, branch set up correctly, but then um, there'll be no when you go to deploy it. There'll be no CSS. I should have took a screenshot, but I didn't. There'll be no. There'll just be the HTML on the page. There'll be no. Uh, excuse me. HTML will be there. And then the JavaScript modules will be there when you click the tabs. But the most important thing is there's no assets. So there's no images and there's no styles, style sheet, uh, no CSS. And that's because I failed to use Webpack to bundle those. So those weren't part of the uh, main.js output file. So it'll make more sense when I go through it with you. But that's the nitty gritty of it. So let's just get started here. So... Uh, basically, as I said before, if you're using GitHub Pages, which we are, to host your completed page, you need to do a tiny bit more work to get this to show up. After running Webpack, the full bundled version, that's the key. I basically read over that the first time. Um, you got to bundle everything up fully. Uh, and then you deploy it to your, using your, you deploy your disk folder using uh, using git to your github pages uh, and then make it point it towards the index.html it works and then as they recall to remember that your source branch for your github pages is set to in your repo settings so I won't go over all that but I will show you what I ended up having to do in a nutshell so I'm not planning on making this video super long but um, so we'll go over the CSS first so the first thing um, is yeah, I added this import line, so you want to add uh, import and then wherever your style sheet re resides. <clears throat> My style sheet actually resides on the same uh, level, uh, same stru directory structure level as my index.js, so I just put uh, period forward slash style dot CSS and because it lives right there. And then also what you need to do uh, is you need to remove it from the head tag. You need to remove that that style sheet link, and that's the only thing you have to do in the HTML. And then you need to go imp very importantly. You need to go uh, to your command line, and you need to run the command to install your CSS loader and style loader. You can see those are in my JSON pack uh, package here. Um, those are um, the versions that installed. You don't have to put this in here. It'll it'll put it in automatically. Webpack will when you run the install. And how to do that is um, right out here and in Asset Management under your Webpack. So if you go out to Webpack and go to Asset Management, start the setup at the top and run down through. So here's your loading CSS part, and this is your your command you run: the npm install dash dash save dash dev uh, space loader or style loader and CSS loader. And then that will um, plop them in there and add it to your environment. And then also what you need to do is you need to add, and it, this is in the doc documentation I just showed you. I don't want to keep going back and forth and make a long video because you guys can read through it. But you add a rule set for test and use for anything .css. Use the style loader first and then CSS loader second in that order. And, um, and then once you... And you have to type that in. That won't. That will not be put in there automatically by by um, installs or command line. You have to go in here and put that in yourself. Um, once you do that and save it out, uh, when you compile it, either by running npx webpack or running or having the sniffer for the web uh, npx webpack dash dash watch, uh, it will it will auto bundle the CSS inside of the it'll get it from the the um, index.js right here and then it'll bundle it inside of it'll 
transport to uh, dist and bundle it inside of main.js. And you'll know it works because what happens is when you go to compile this and run it and run HTML in the browser, you'll you'll get your you'll get your CSS because you've removed the removed it from the head tags so you know that it works. If it doesn't show up then you know you've done something wrong and you have to go back and look. Um, secondly, the next thing that okay, so there's your four loads, import loads there. Secondly, you have to add the images uh, as assets, at, at, and there's a section of code and stuff you run under here under loading images. Again, I won't go over that, but this is where you would get it under the Webpack JS uh, documentation. Um, and then, uh, so there's different ways to do it. So what I ended up doing that worked for me, and so if you're following along with kind of the way I'm doing it, if you're doing it similar, this is how you'll want to do it. So you're going to do an import um, inside of the not the index.js but rather the module js loads of each one so you have initial page load I only have one import image because I only have one image inside of this if you remember that was the um, picture of the restaurant so you add the import tag and then this is just an arbitrary name you come up with and then from and then you tell you tell it uh, where it's at so again this is in the uh, this is in the um, this is one level down we're currently in the initial page load so we're right here in this file and then my images are in the assets folder so you do period forward slash assets and then the name of the uh, uh, image file dot jpeg oh, I did forget one thing you do need to do also uh, as you're doing that is you need to go back to your webpack config and you have to add a test type here another rule for uh, PNG SVG JPG JPEG and GIF and their type asset resource again this is in the documentation you will have to type that in manually otherwise it won't work so that's your config for telling webpack that when you see files with that with that um, um, extension uh, that that is an asset resource and so it will treat it as an asset resource image so when you call it here you import and you do that because or I did that because um, in source I so you remember before I had the actual path typed out here so I deleted the path and used the import as a variable so when it says restaurant image it's going up here and looking at this location um, the magic that doesn't seem like really that impressive but the magic comes in here so when the webpack sees it and sees the import function it's the same thing as if webpack was seeing it on index or um, index.js sorry I keep moving around to here so it's the same thing as if it's seen it here I'm just putting it in the module loads uh, because I don't need it to reach across it doesn't make sense for it to import it here and then have it reach across to each asset you can just put the import function inside of each module and then so it does the same thing so when it reaches out and sees that asset it grabs it and then it compiles it and sticks it into main.js and then also secondly you see all these weird uh, numbers and letters here these are all the files so also what it does is it sticks it main.js and then it references itself from dist as a JPEG. I didn't create that. That's done automatically by the Webpack uh, runtime. It creates that um, uh, that digit number weird dot JPEG or PNG or whatever it is. And you'll know because uh, in your browser when you inspect the uh, image it will have this file name. If it doesn't that means you didn't do something right. But um, so yeah so make sure you have your rule set set up. There is no on these these bad boys there is no install there's nothing to install and like unlike with CSS you had to install the two loaders there's no loaders to install here uh, you just gotta make sure that your rule set is set up and that is that and then over here so then it, it does that for that and then you import I import two more green bean casserole image and mac and cheese image for this menu tab because the menu module does have two images in it and again make sure you change your um, your path so it's pointing to the import path and the same for contacts contacts had three images in it if you remember phone email and mail and so those are the imports for that um, 
there. So the key is, is too is if you when you're saving it and running it or if you're doing watch terminal watch like like I have running here, you'll see it update. Um, ignore the warnings. Uh, it's just because my mode's not set right. It, everything works fine. You should see this incrementing, like five modules, eight modules, ten modules. Uh, so ten modules, they're considering all these are modules. So you have one, two, three f there, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have uh, three JS modules, three uh, import, uh, three picture or image modules here, um, and then you have two import mo modules there, one there, and actually, I'm sorry. It, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then, um, and then I already said this, but then you have your import modules from, oh, it's hard to move this, there you go. Um, and then you have your four here. So you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. So it's counting all your imports. That's how you can kind of tell too that things are working correctly. If you look here, um, you shouldn't see any uh, major errors or um, the warning is just like I said. It's the warning in the config of the option isn't set to to mode, so ignore that. But as long as you don't see any other error messages, uh, it, that's your key to see what's wrong. See, at one point, you'll it'll tell you where it's erring at if it if it does. I had a couple instances. Let's see if I still have them on screen. Yep. So like right here, I had error at one point. Uh, can't resolve asset green bean casserole. It's because I had it um, capitalized. So uh, cap caps does matter. So if you're calling it uh, in your code with caps, but the file name is not capitalized, which in this instance it, was, it wasn't, you will get an error because it's it's ca case sensitive. So it will it will throw that error. Um, so that's that's how you can kind of troubleshoot issues. And again, you should see all this, if you're running watch like I am here, you're going to get the verbose activity, but you're also going to see your tree update here. And then also, thirdly, um, another way to check is if you're, okay, so I'm in my file here, um, my in the browser here. If you right-click and inspect, you should see how, see how now it, instead of saying the source was, you know, dot, dot, forward slash, JS restaurants before it's my full file name and it's got that funky uh, name at the end that's how you also know that it's working correctly for the images the images I had to tr I had some trouble with I had to mess around with them for a little bit the CSS was actually a, a cakewalk it was really easy so as far as getting that to work um, y the the two loaders or you know once you install them they're pretty much doing the heavy lifting for you once you um, defining the loaders in your rule set on your config file so the images since they don't have loaders they're a little more cumbersome um, there's probably better ways to do this but this is just the way I did it I loaded them all as you can see I loaded them all manually uh, one by one I tried to figure out how to do it by a folder and I couldn't figure it out there was a third-party plugin that you could download that would um, that would compile a, a whole assets folder at once um, might save you some time but I figured it wasn't worth the shortcut because it wasn't it was third-party supported and it wasn't webpack so I didn't want to uh, introduce a unknown variable to my project <clears throat> especially if I'm trying to do it the you know the Odin way so I, I decided to uh, do follow the documentation to a T and and just uh, go over that again that's out here on webpack if you go to documentation and then asset management uh, you go through that there pretty much everything I described here is is all in here and in those subcategories so uh, again uh, thank you for coming along the journey today uh, please like share and subscribe for more content and let me know in the comments section if you had any troubles uh, getting this uh, pushed to your github pages or or if you uh, didn't uh, I'd be curious to know in the comments so uh, love you guys, and with all that said, till next time, see ya.